Hi everyone, welcome back. On this week's episode, we're going to be building this. Welcome to my Lego life. Hey everyone, hope you're all well. So this week we're going to be building one of the modular building sets and I've decided to start with assembly square. Now this thing is freaking heavy. There's 4,002 pieces in this set and this is literally, I don't just mean my channel, the biggest Lego set that I have ever had. It's so huge and I really can't wait to get started. It's 38 centimeters long, 35 centimeters tall and it just looks awesome. You get three buildings on there, so one, two, three. And if you look on the back, it gives you a bit more images about what contains in the set. So you get a, a photography studio, looks like a cake shop, there's a babysitter, man playing a guitar, you get a dentist office. I mean, how much can you cram into one set? Let's get started. I just want to get it open. Let's get building.
So guys, that's assembly square complete. And I have to say, modular buildings are definitely going to be um, something that I will be collecting now going forward. Um, now with modular buildings, for those of you that are new to Lego, these are designed so that you can build your own city. Now if you see on the side here, there are some um, little prongs that stick out, some technique pieces. And if I just take you over to this side of the uh, assembly square, you can see there are two holes. So these are designed so that you can slot them together. So for example, there is a police station that you can slot next to this one, just slots right in. You can get the dino that slots right in next to this one and then get a bookstore and eventually you'll be building your own Lego city or at least your own Lego street. So the modular buildings really do look great from the outside. They look fantastic, but the real magic is obviously on the inside. So let's take a look. Now I'm going to show you guys how these things come apart for those of you that are new to the modular buildings. So the lid literally just lifts right off the roof and they're held together with a couple of studs on the top. So as you can see there, there's one, two and three. And um, so all you've got to do is literally just pop it on, push it down a tiny bit and then that's in place left there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to strip this completely off. So take all the pieces off and show you guys room by room what's inside each. So there's three there. And then we'll take the roof off here. We'll take that four off there. And we will take that four off as well. So let's just pop that to one side. So we'll show you guys all the, the first floor. So the ground floor. So we'll start with the cafe. So there's a little restaurant here. There's a little dog sat outside on the table there, probably waiting for his owner. Um, there is a lady in the street here with a baby. So there is a little baby minifigure, as you can see that there. So that's inside the little buggy that you build. And then I'm not sure if she's the baby's mum or relative, or if she's just a babysitter. There is a babysitter's room and we will get to that shortly. As you can see, there's a fountain outside on the street as well. You do get two lampposts, so two lights on the street. There's a couple more chairs around this side and a table for the cafe. Outside the cafe, it's got this really cool feature, obviously to identify it. Um, so that's pretty awesome. So let's take a look inside. Now there's a woman there behind the checkout. So she's obviously serving people the drinks and the cakes and biscuits. There's a couple of um, fruit tile pieces inside there, along with some chairs and tables for the minifigures to sit down. And behind her, there's a little door at the back, as you can see there, just underneath. So that's to the exit outside at the back. Now I'll show you guys the back of the building later when it's all complete. So we'll move on to the second building. Now, as you can see from the front of the shop, if you can't already tell, this is a flower shop. So there's a couple of flowers outside. There's a garden brush and a spade in one of the boxes. And if we just take a look inside, so you, you get another a checkout person there serving and giving flowers to the customers. There's a couple of flower bouquets behind them. There's a little parrot on a stand here. I'm not sure if that's for sale or if that's an ornament. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. So that's the flower shop. And then if we just move on round to this one, so I'll show you outside first. So you've got a little pretzel there. So this is a bakery. In the window, you can see there, there's a wedding cake. And if you just go around here, there's a couple more cakes and biscuits through that window. And let's take you inside. So inside there is the baker themselves, the minifigure. So let's give you a look at him. He's got his little minifigure hat on, chef's hat. So let's pop him down there behind the checkout. And there, again, there's some biscuits and cakes. And there's that wedding cake that you could see in the mirror. So that's there. And at the back of this one, it's got a little oven. So that's where all the cakes are made. If I just open that. And there's a little button at the back, underneath the stairs at the back of the modular building that pushes out the tray of biscuits. So that's there, and I'll pop that back in later. So that's the ground floor complete. Now let's move on up to the next floor. So we'll start with this building on the left. And if we pop that on there, we'll just make sure the sides are all flush. And that's that one in place. Now this is a music shop. So there's a drummer's kit here. 
you can see two guitars that are hung up on the wall you've got a, a checkout staff there and if we just move it around you can see that there's a saxophone on a stand there as well and the the checkout staff has got the till there as well with the bottom and behind them obviously is the steps that go up to the next floor so that's that one now let's move on to the next building so let's pop this in place there we go simple now this room on the right hand side is one that we probably all dread it is the dentist office so here is the dentist himself let's just pop him back there and if we spin it around you can see a bit more detail here so there's the dentist chair there there's like a little sink on the side a little wash gun the chair goes up and down itself so obviously the minifigure can lie back you've got a, a tray in front of them there so the needle is on there just in the corner here there is a, a cupboard at the top with some glass jars inside there some vials and then they've obviously got a wash sink and then just there at the side there is the waiting area now if we move over to the next room so this room is a photography studio so as you can see there's an old-fashioned camera set up there there's the um, back studio um, canvas area there then you also get the photographer himself so he stood there the little minifigure he comes with a, a cool beard piece which I've not seen before that's pretty awesome so let's pop him back down there so that is the second floor complete now let's move up again so we will start again with the left side building so let's just pop that in place so that's all in place and then we've got this room so this is a dance studio looks like somebody's doing some ballet there is a mirror on the side here which I won't touch because I won't get fingerprints on and then you also get a little piano there. Then there isn't anyone playing the piano, but you do get a piano, which I think is quite cool. And then there's some steps on the back there that lead to the roof. Now let's pop the other side on. So that's all in place. And let's take a look around this one. Now this is what I was telling you guys earlier, I think this is the babysitting one, the babysitting room. So there's quite a lot of toys in here, looks like there's painting books at the back. You've got some train ooh, that I've just knocked off at the top there. So there's a little shelf with a train on. You've got some train tracks here. If we just spin it round, there's a little tower in the corner there. So it looks like an Eiffel Tower maybe. And if we keep turning the stand round over here, you've got a sofa. That also lifts out to be a bed. So let's just show you guys that. So it just goes flat. And then if you want to turn it back into a sofa, you just lift it up and push it back. So I think that's pretty cool. Now if we just push it back into the corner, this room here is the toilet. So as you can see guys, I've got a little toilet inside there, which I think is pretty awesome. It's a nice touch. And then what I'll do now, before I show you this room, is I'll just put the roofs on. So I'll pop the roof on the left side. Now the roof on this one has got a access panel there. So the minifigure can obviously come up and down and then it's got a little skylight. And the roof on this one has just got a tiny little tower which I think is a quite a nice touch. So I'll just show you guys around the back of this one. And the top floor of the middle building. So this one has an outdoor eating area. So there's like a balcony here, um, outdoor kitchen. There's pots and pans on the wall that are hung up. There's table and chairs. There's some ladders here on the side that lead up to the roof here. So maybe you want to put some seats on there or an umbrella perhaps. Um, but yeah, so that's the top floor of that one complete. Now, just looking at the buildings at the back, there's not much detail on the back, but then you don't really expect there to be because that's not what you're going to be focusing on. So there are some nice touches, though, that are on the back of the modular building. So there's some alley stairs here and um, that lead up, obviously, to the next floors with all the doors there. Um, if we just move over here, you've got some shrubbery on the back of uh, this building set. 
There's just a little alleyway here that leads you straight through to the front of the assembly square. And on top here of this grate, there is some more shrubbery. There's a light just above the door here. So if we just turn that over, you can see that there's a yellow stud in there. So that's lit up. Um, yeah, so just some nice touches really. So that's all the building itself complete. So I've shown you guys everything there. So I'm just gonna do a quick run through of the minifigures that you get with this set. So that's the lady who I think is the babysitter. You get the baby there. There's the ballerina, uh, the musician, the barrister for the coffee shop, the dentist, you get the photography artist, the baker, and the florist. So there's quite a selection of minifigures there with that set. So all in all, I think this was a, a great build. It was £180 that cost me. Um, that was from Lego itself. So. Um, was a great buy considering how big the modular set is. I think this is one of the biggest modular sets that they actually do. So that's Assembly Square all complete. I hope you've enjoyed today's video, guys. If you have, make sure to give us a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if you're building your own Lego city and how that's going. So everyone, make sure you subscribe to the channel as well to keep an eye on my Lego city progress going so far and what buildings I put to the left and right of Assembly Square. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe and take care. Bye now.